Well, going to the movies doesn't have to break the bank. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how to get discounted movie tickets. That sounds great. <laughs> I think so. How often do you go to the movies a month? Now, I know you have a little one, so. Oh, yeah, I don't go to the movies at all. It's a miracle, though. I have seen two movies that are up for Oscars this weekend. Oh, well, see. But I watch them in the comfort of my own home. Okay, well, if you'd gone out, this would have saved you money. All okay. right. <laughs> all right, what this is called, it's called Movie Pass. And what it is, it's actually a subscription service. It's an app and a subscription service. And what it does is that you pay a one-time monthly fee or once a month for $9.95. And you can go to the movies every single day up to 30 times a month for the one flat rate of $9.95. It's like too good to be true, though. It is too good. I'm going to tell you some <laughs> At the end, we're going to talk about some downsides. Because we the, talked about this on the morning show, but okay. I didn't know we can do this locally. We can do it locally. We're going to look at a map in a second, and okay. I'll talk about the downsides and how it works. Okay. okay? All right, so the way, that, the way that it works is you actually, you log into the app, okay, and you subscribe. You pay this $9.95 fee, okay, per month, and you can go to the theater 30 times a month, once a day. And what they do is they actually issue you a movie pass debit card, and I have one here. Okay. It's a physical debit card. card. Okay. Um, it's issued by MasterCard, and if you notice down at the bottom, it says that it's available where? At only movie, at movie pass theaters. Right, only okay. at movie pass theaters. So what it does is you, uh, the way that it works is you go into the movie pass app and you browse movies, find what you want to play or watch or see, and then you look for your local theaters that support movie pass. There's thousands Whoa. of them across the country and here in Asheville. There's a lot in our area. All the major ones support movie pass because there's movie pass theaters. Okay. So the way that it works is you show up at the theater. Okay. Okay. And you check in through the movie pass app. Okay, you have to check in. That, that does not buy your ticket. What that does, and it doesn't reserve it either, but it checks you in, and that actually funds the debit card, the MasterCard debit card, and it funds it for the price of that ticket. And then you actually purchase your ticket using the movie pass card, okay. and it's paid for. And okay. you can do that every day without putting more money on the card. You just do your one time $9.95. All right. So, um, so that's how it works. So it's super simple. Now, there's a couple of, of key points here. Okay. What's the downside? Exactly. There's got to be something to this that's not, okay. you're going to watch a million ads. <laughs> no, there's actually no big downside. The only one really that I think of is that you can't buy in advance. Okay. So you, you can't reserve a ticket ahead of time. You can't reserve it for 10 people. So if it's really popular if it's movie. Or opening night, you could get to the theater and it's sold out. So the way that it works is that you actually show up at the theater and you check in and then you have 30 and you have to be within 100 yards of the theater to check in. And then you have a 30 minute window to actually purchase your ticket. If the movie's sold out, of course you can cancel it. You can switch movies. You can do all those things, okay. but it's reserved for that amount Still. of time. Yeah, it's really great. And the other big question that I get is what about for families? Okay. Right. So this is one movie pass per person okay so if you have a family of four then you're gonna need to get 40 four bucks four yeah you need you're gonna have to get four of them basically yeah. okay and um, so it's per person but still that's the price of one ticket not even that's right. even less than the price of one ticket for a nighttime showing at a movie right so if you go once a month you've saved money if you go if you want to go once a month or even more than that you're still saving money okay so it's for both sides if you want to go more but not spend it right okay. here's your solution do we have time or are we out of time? We're done. Okay, well, I won't go into this. They're actually running a special right now. You can check okay. that out. I'll send it out through iPadWisdom.com. If you want the information, shoot me um, an email at info at iPadWisdom.com and I'll send it out to you. But if you didn't see that, it said $8 instead of 10 <laughs> so deals. There's deals a little caveat with that, but I didn't get to that. All right, so if you want to learn more about that caveat, just go to the uh, Tech Time and click on that at WLOS.com.